Hey friends, thanks for tuning in to another one of my videos. Today I wanted to try something a little bit different. Um, I've had a couple videos that I've been editing for the last month now, and I don't quite like them. I figured I would actually try filming an unboxing, since I said that I would be doing that in my channel description. Today I got an order in from one of my favorite places to shop in the world. Closet Child. Closet Child is an online shop located in Japan, and they service several alternative fashions. Their most popular fashion categories are Lolita, Gothic fashions, and Punk. You'll also find items from other fashions such as Gyaru, Otome, Fairy K, and the best part is that they ship directly to the US. Another one of my favorite parts about the Japanese market is that things are priced very differently. This doesn't go across the board by any means, but a lot of times the things that I get in secondhand shops in Japan, at least the more professional ones, um, are better quality. Or at least the damage is very well reported if there is any. It's like the same bolero that I would buy on Closet Child with a stain on it would go for double the price on Lace Market with a stain on it. So obviously you know where I'm shopping. <laughs> Not that I don't shop on Lace Market plenty. Another one of my favorite things about Closet Child is they ship very quickly and they also use DHL, which gets packages to my house personally in about three days from Japan, which is pretty incredible considering I am just about on the other side of the world. Alrighty, on to the main event. I don't exactly remember what I got this time, since quarantine started, I found myself spending a lot less money on other things like train passes and lunch at work. Uh, so now a lot of my money goes straight into Lolita. And as such, I can't always remember what I purchased, but I'm always happy when it arrives. I've definitely heard stories from people in my comms saying like, oh, I ordered something a year back and it finally showed up. And then by the time it showed up, I didn't like it. Fortunately, I don't think I've ever had that experience, but can only imagine. Ooh. Okay, I really don't remember buying this. So I know for a fact this is a Baby the Star Shine Bright Wizard Oz print. I can't remember the exact same the exact name of the print, but I'll be sure to look it up and put it on screen here or here. Oh. A square of Dorothy and Toto, my favorite. I'm a huge dog lover. Anything with puppies on it makes me so happy. Once my life is a little bit more stable and I've done a little bit more traveling, I know one of my first priorities is going to be getting a puppy again. For the time being, I have rats. I love them so, so much, and they're a lot easier to take care of. Having a dog would be a huge responsibility for me right now, both because I travel for work and I'd love to do a lot of personal travel, obviously when it's not quarantine. Oh, I'm so happy with this dress. It's got some partial shirring. It came with the waist ties. Looks like it's very accommodating, which again, quarantine, it's great. <laughs> the front bow here seems to be a detachable, yep, it's a detachable bow. I'll probably leave it on. Oh, I'm so excited to steam this up a little bit and wear it. I'll be sure to try it on for the video. And the next item I have is a wardrobe staple that I've been needing for a while. It's funny, I've been uh, I've been into Lolita for years, but um, I would say I've only seriously been into Lolita for about two years now. Um, and for the last two years, I haven't had a single white bolero, which is like really silly if you think about it. White goes with everything. It should be one of the first items I purchased, to be fair, but I didn't. Um, and I'm very happy to have it now. This is perfect. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show this on camera, but I'm gonna try. There's like 
perforated bows and hearts all throughout the cardigan, which is really, really beautiful detail. And also this lace that's featured here I love so much. I have so many pieces with this particular like polka dot lace on it, whether it be off-brand or angelic pretty pieces, baby pieces, everyone uses this lace and it's so, so pretty. Um, I love having pieces that match lace. It's like a really nice detail to like cord lace bloomers, wrist cuffs, and your shirt all together. I'm also very excited to cord this. I'll probably put this on with my new JSK. This bolero features elasticated arm cuffs, which I really, really appreciate. I wear Lolita daily and also wear it to work, so I like to have things that are really comfortable and have a little bit of stretch so I can do what I need to do throughout the day. Oh, this is lovely. It's also got this really pretty um, rose lace here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch this on camera. My camera does not want to focus in on this right now, but you can kind of see embroidered lace. It's really soft and nice. So far, I am very, very happy with my forgetful purchase. Now on to what I can only assume is accessories because it's in a box like this. A uh, closet child usually ships in uh, mailers that are super, super flimsy, um, but they do double wrap their things, so I don't think I've ever had anything like explode or get damaged in the mail. DHL is also very good when it comes to that kind of thing. Um, but they also will include a box if you get anything fragile, any jewelry or anything like that. They always put it in a, a nice safe box. And also bubble wrap the hell out of it, which is really nice. So if anything were to happen to your package, honestly your jewelry would probably survive. I'm really excited to see what I got. It's one of the funnest things about forgetting about your purchases. It's like a gift to yourself. Maybe it's my birthday, I don't know. It's been a long year. Oh, this stuff is perfect, I can already tell. So, as of the last couple months, I've been trying to get more and more jewelry. Um, I don't know if you can tell, behind me I have a lot of main pieces, but I didn't always have the accessories to go with them. So at this point, I'm just trying to fill out my accessory collection, which you can see a little peek of over here and behind me here, just so that I have something that matches everything. This piece here excites me very much because it reminds me that um, I was bad this week and I added a whole new color into my wardrobe. I don't know if you can see this very well. It doesn't seem to be focusing great either. Yeah, no, okay, there we go. So this is a uh, mint. I believe it's Choco Mint mint colored necklace. It's really pretty. It's got pearls and, and bows on it, which is pretty much good for anything Lolita. I personally love pearl jewelry, so it'll go with lots of other things that I have too. I have a skirt coming in the mail and some mint tea parties, and I'm so, so, so excited to finally have enough pieces to cord mint, other than this kind of mint-leaning Saks Oki. I've recently gotten to resin making, so I'm always really excited when I see pieces like this. I love, love, love these chunky bangles. They're like a really easy way to accessorize without having to wear a whole wrist cuff or anything like that. Sometimes wrist cuffs can be a little bit uncomfortable, I find, throughout the whole day. So I prefer to wear something that can like move around on my arm freely, besides this dumb one. Oh, and these are super, super cute. Are they stretched? And I got some more black and white jewelry. Despite wearing a lot of black for a long time, I also didn't have any black and white jewelry. So also very nice to finally have a little bit of something that I can accessorize here. I also wasn't expecting these to be so chunky from like the pictures I saw, but I'm very happy with this. Thank you so much for tuning in to my very first unboxing video. Uh, as you can see, there are some things I hadn't quite worked out before filming this video, such as uh, finding a good place in my house to film a little cord video. So here you just see me struggling to try and fit into the corner in my room fairly unsuccessfully. 
I did an alright job of smooshing myself into the closet for a cord shot, but I think the best thing for me to do here is probably just to include the cord picks I took separately right here at the end. <laughs> 